Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Um, so I'm doing a series on Cricut tips. And one of the things that I see a lot is how do I download a font and how do I make sure that it's in Design Space? So let's take that little tour. Um, I think one of the popular sites would be Defont. So I like Defont, I also like Creative Fabrica and I like font bundles. So I'm throwing that out there for you guys. All right, so let's say uh, this one because I want to do a connected font because I want to show you something else as well. So, okay, so let's um, download this one. So you just click on download. It's downloading here. So it's a zip file. A lot of the SVGs or um, fonts that you get or images on Etsy, they usually come over as zip files. You cannot upload a zip file into Design Space. So you basically have to unzip it. So click on the little button. Let's go in and show in folder so we can see what we have. So here is our little file. So double click on it, double click on it. There, install. It's installing. Now, once it installs, then what you need to do is you need to close out any versions of Design Space that you have. So I have Design Space, I'm just gonna close it out. Yes, I wanna quit. Then you wanna go back over here and let's bring up Design Space. <clears throat> so it gives the chance for Design Space to refresh and any fonts that you have downloaded is now going to be available. So let's go into new project and go to text. And this was, I think, D. Stacy. Um, where are you? There you are. All right. So here you have it. And I'm just going to type in my daughter's name. Right, so we know that all the scripted fonts, they come over like this and they're not connected. So if you're just doing one name, it's not a big deal, right? You ungroup it. Um, and the reason why I ungroup it instead of, let me undo that for a second. I see a lot of people take this and say, okay, all you need to do is decrease the letter space, right? And that works for a little bit because you see everything is moving closer and closer together, right? But the problem is not all fonts are spaced evenly. So you can see that right now the C and the H is super close, right? We only need to maybe decrease the letter space a little bit more and it's going to connect. I'm going to move this over. All right. But the problem is the A and the R are not in the same place, right? So that's going to look funky. But take a look at the space between the O and the T. So you can see they're not evenly spaced. So decreasing the letter space is only going to work for a little bit. So here, my C and my H are connected, but not everything else is, right? So I like to really just ungroup and physically move over this one. I mean, I just don't. I don't love this method, but I will do it when I only have one name and it's not a complicated name. Like this one, I already don't like the R where I have to try to figure out where it goes um, and I just can never get it right. So let me just show you this. I'm gonna move it, pretend we like the spacing, but see even the double T's, I never, I don't like this method. All right, grab it all and weld. Now, sometimes something will bubble in, like the this will bubble in. What you would do in that case if this happened, which it didn't this time, you undo it, make this super large, and then weld it. And that should that should fix your problem. It's just a workaround. Okay, so here it is. Now, your other option is to use my favorite font pad, font lab pad. Um, and let's go to file and open. We want this one. So I'm gonna type in Charlotte and see, it's all connected the way it should be. All you need to do then is save as, and you know, I'll do Charlotte for instance, um, Charlotte demo. And you go to upload upload image and you just have to find your file. So let's find Charlotte demo. And there it is. So hit save, click on it and insert images. So this is what I like about this. 
do you see how my T's connect really nicely? The R connects really nicely. This is exactly where it's supposed to be designed by the designer. So that's why I like using Font Lab Pad. And the other reason why I like it is while if you compare just doing one on one, it may not, you might not see the time savings, but if you had to do 16 names or for an order, um, that would save you a lot of time because I'm gonna go back to here really quickly. I'm gonna do Charlotte, Luca, Dylan, and the useless crafter. You can see as soon as you type in a few names, this is already saving um, saving you time even though you're adding a few more steps, okay? So I just wanna point that out. And the other cool thing that I like about that is if you use Font Lab Pad, I'm gonna take you to Inkscape. I know everyone's seen this lately because it's been my kick. I want you to just download it so that you have the option to offset this, okay? So here we go. We're gonna go to File. We're going to Import, and we want Charlotte Demo. All right, first thing is you wanna look at this. This is unlocked right now. We wanna lock it, so just click on it, make it big so we can see it. Um, unlocking and locking works the same as it does in Design Space. If it's locked, then when you make something bigger, it gets bigger proportionately, both in uh, length and height. If you have it unlocked, then it may get longer as opposed to wider. You get it. Okay, so right now the word, the name Charlotte is highlighted, right? It's selected because it's um, in this square. So you wanna take your arrow and just your cursor and just hit in the white space. So you see now nothing is selected, right? We wanna go over to, and I'm gonna just make this smaller because I'm recording so you can't see everything. I'm just gonna pull this out really quickly. All right, you wanna go to your paint bucket and then select a different color and then go up here and your grow shrink, this is how much we wanna grow it by. This is your offset number. So I like to do, 20 so bear with me hit 20 hit the c and look at there's our offset right okay go to your arrow key see how this is selected click in the white area again click your paint bucket let's pick a different color let's grow this by 40 this time and click again all right i wouldn't worry about this little spot just leave it as is okay go to your arrow um Deselect this, grab everything, hit path, object to path, and then now file and save as. So we're going to do Charlotte offset demo. And I'm going to bring it into design space so you can see it, okay? All right, so now let's go to upload, upload image, browse. We're going to find our little, our little guy. So it's Charlotte, oops, sorry. And it's Charlotte Offset Demo. Open. There she is. Click Save. And now we're going to upload it or insert it. Okay, so let's look at this over here. Um, so let's ungroup this guy. Here's our first layer. If you want to get rid of this little hole right here, because what is that? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's go to Contour. Okay, here's our second layer. And if you wanna make this your top layer, I would do this. Okay, so now this will sit on top of here. And then here's our beautiful layer. You wanna weld this, cause look, it's separated, okay? So weld it. And there you have your layers, right? Look how quickly that was done. And now this is gonna be amazing on your cake topper, banners, um, your tumblers, anything that's a sticker to put on like for school. So I hope I converted you guys. <laughs> All right, have a great weekend. Let me know if I can help you with anything. All right, bye guys.